Hello everyone, I'm John, this is Sean, All right. and this is Everyday Food Reviews. Today, we have a Ray's Energy flavour video. Yeah, so uh, we've looked at Ray's once before. We had the sour gummy worms, it sour was in the worms. green textured can. Yeah, and it, it wasn't that sour and it tasted more like Sprite than gummy worms. Yes. However, it is a nice can and it's got 300 milligrams of caffeine so it's definitely worth another look mm. even though the, the flavor was good it was uh, it was nice it was clean um it the, we've we've had other things from uh, tea nutrition in liverpool where we get these that have just been been better um this unless you really need the caffeine uh, that particular flavor probably isn't worth getting so we'll, yeah. we'll see where this one takes us we found with uh, some of the other brands that we've done, the flavour technology is is really good because yeah. even though it's got less sugar and uh, it's got the BCAAs and things like that, um, <clears throat> it's the flavour technology in them is actually really good and it just hides the fact that they're an energy drink. Yeah. So, yeah. And we I weren't, oh, I don't know if we were overly, I think, don't think we were overly impressed with the sour gummy worms. No, I mean, it was nice, but if they just called it Sprite, I'd have probably been more impressed. You know, because that's, that's pretty much just what it tasted like. Yeah, um, yeah I mean, the, the flavours of these things, ultimately it's the fruit flavours that separate them because, you know, if, if they're buying bulk chemicals, uh, making, you know, bulk protein powders, bulk pre-workouts, you know, the flavours are the things that are different between them. Um, so you'd expect that to be the best thing. Yeah. Um, if, if, if it's a good company doing good stuff, yeah. you'd expect that to be the best thing yeah. in them. Um, so this is guava mango flavour. Mm. It's clear again, as we'd expect. Not a, not a, like a, a strong like smell scent kind of thing, but at all. it's that you can smell a little bit of mango. A little bit. It's, it's kind of like a tangerine sort of scent. I think mm. I'm getting. Cheers. <laughs> Sorry. It's very mellow. It's a very mellow flavour. The, the, the flavour isn't in line with something that has 300 milligrams of caffeine. That's, that's nearly twice as much as a can of Rockstar that's 500 mil. This is a 473 mil can. It's got, you know, a can of Rockstar has 160 milligrams. So this two, is 300, isn't it? 300 in the one can. Um, a litre of normal Rockstar or a litre of Red Bull, that's four cans of Red Bull, would have just 20 milligrams more caffeine than this. You'd expect the flavour to be pretty full on. It's not. It's not. If anything, I think the ca it's too overly carbonated as well for the for the flavour. Mm. It's so subtle, the flavour. That that almost suggests to me they, they, they just think that people when the people are buying these, they're just going to smash him down him and then walk to the gym and then just start the workout they're, they're which not, wouldn't necessarily be wrong no but then also it's not something that I think you'd, you'd, you'd buy regularly just to enjoy no I'll be honest I don't know what um, guava actually tastes like so when I, when I say tangerine that might just be like a guava flavour I don't know Maybe. what guava normally actually no, tastes I'm... like to be honest isn't it, isn't it like a part of a, a, a plant that provides the energy I think maybe because isn't isn't like guava in a boost chocolate bar you're thinking of guarana ah okay yeah guarana is um, a source of caffeine right okay so you, that's, you where, see, that's yeah. where I've got him getting mixed up then yeah it's yeah uh, guava I think is like some sort of melon or papaya or something I think but uh, like, I don't even know yeah to be honest it's a very subtle flavour it tastes more like um a fizzy water yeah. you get from like a, a volvic fruit flavoured yes. fizzy water thing. Yeah. Well, the, they're, they're not really carbonated, but if oh, you were to carbonate one of those, yeah. then, yeah. I'd... I think Tesco do them like the sparkling fruit flavoured mineral oh, water, don't yeah. they? Oh, yeah, actually, yeah, maybe they do some... Like apple and raspberry and that sort of thing. I usually stay away from like sparkling water, just oh, do full stop. I, I don't mind, um, <clears throat> like if it was like... Volve it with a hint of strawberry or something. It was still water. I'd probably buy that. Yeah. And over the over a sparkling because I just really don't get on with sparkling water. But yeah, this this just yeah kind of I don't know. I think I'm maybe slightly disappointed. Like it'd be good. At, yeah. See, I just for the caffeine kick, but then there's not, in terms of the flavor technology, which 
it, it, I think they just did lack in a little bit. No, I I disagree there. I I'm disappointed with it personally. I don't enjoy such a subtle flavour so much. However, for them to have an energy drink with that much caffeine and it just tastes like sparkling water, that's got to be some sort of achievement. Mm. You know? I don't think it tastes like spa- like overly like sparkling water. I just feel like it's it's almost like it's just water that's been carbonated and then with the thing but yeah, but for it to not just taste bitter, like if, if if the thing that puts you off energy drinks is the fact that they've got stupid flavours, which I love, that's my favourite yeah, thing same. about them. Um, but if a lot of people are going to want a, a clean source of caffeine, um, you know, this has two types of caffeine in to like, try and prevent the, the peak and the crash sort of thing. Um, a lot of people are going uh, are put off. Um, I've heard people say it. Um, they're, they're put off by the the stupid flavors. They want a pre workout. They'll have coffee and a banana for pre workout instead of energy drink because they don't want stupid flavors and stupid chemicals in the flavors and stuff. Those people might enjoy this one because it just tastes like a fruit flavored sparkling water. Mm. Um, and to those people. I would highly recommend this. Um, don't be put off by the fact that the other one's called uh, sour gummy worms. It just tastes like, like a sprite. This one just tastes like yeah. a, um, a orange and tangerine mango sparkling fruit water. I think you you're really gonna like it. I wouldn't get it again, but I like the stupid flavors. Yeah. Um, I think that I might I might get it again just because it it is so clean. You could just down this get to the gym, get on with your day, whatever you're doing, have that amount of caffeine all in one go. Um, it, it is it is carbonated relative to just something still, but I think the the, the carbonation is, it does seem a bit smoother than your average sort of kind mm. of monster or something. Like compared to a monster ultra, I think this is a bit smoother. I don't, I, I don't necessarily think it needs the carbonation really. I think mm. I could just probably enjoy it as more, just more of a, a still. Like, yeah, like mango water kind of thing. If it's if I, you can still get away with that much caffeine in that, yeah, and then get on with it. Well, maybe Rep Sports make something like that. Maybe they do a. a it, remi- it reminds me of the Tenzing. Yeah, that it's just the, the, it's a subtle flavour, and it would just maybe be better just as like a an iced like tea, some, something still. Yeah, but but I, yeah, I think this does have more flavour than the Tenzing though. Yeah, it do, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. it definitely does. <laughs> yeah, but but yeah, no, for me personally, I think that'd just be better as an iced tea. Hmm. Or it's just, yeah. just more of a, just, yeah. yeah, less carbonation perhaps. for me on that one. And I like carbonated drinks. Mm. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know how I would suggest improving it. I, I think I'd just stick with. It's not for me, but if you if you put off by silly flavors, then I'd highly recommend it. Yeah, no, I, I'd go along with that. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I've got nothing more to add. No. Uh, oh, d- yeah. The, the other thing, if if you put off by silly flavors, but you want something carbonated, obviously. If you're put off by silly flavors and you want something not carbonated, then you can just get um, pretty much any pre-workout you want, yeah. or you can get a sneak or G Fuel or something. You know, yeah, yeah, get some something like that. But yeah, yeah. if you want if you want something fizzy in a can, um, lots of caffeine, less flavor, clean, clean subtle flavor. flavor yeah, yeah. Go, go for this. Yeah, great. Well, thanks very much for joining us, guys. We'll see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>